everyone this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation which is linear so let's get going problem solve 1 plus y square into dx equals to tan inverse y minus x into dy solution given differential equation One plus y square into dx equals to tan inverse y minus x into dy equals to that's it into dy. I right, consider the given equation as equation one. Now you can take this equation of dx to RHS and you can bring this differential dy to LHS. Then we'll get dx by dy equals to tan inverse y minus x by 1 plus y square then dx by dy equals to if you notice in the numerator of rhs you are having two terms and you will consider 1 plus y square as one term then we can split this into two terms we'll get tan inverse y by 1 plus y square minus x by 1 plus y square. Now, take the term involving x to LHS. You will get dx by dy minus x by 1 plus y square becomes plus x by 1 plus y square equals to tan inverse y by 1 plus y square. We have dy by dx plus 1 by 1 plus y square into x equals to tan inverse y by 1 plus y square, right? Which is linear in x. Here we have reduced the given equation to linear in x form. Right, we know that the standard form of the standard form of linear equation in x is dx by dy plus p into x equals to q. Here p and q are functions of y. Functions of y alone and otherwise. Right? Fine. Now, by comparing these two equations, we'll get p and q. Where p equals to 1 by 1 plus y square. And q equals to tan inverse y by 1 plus y square. Right? Now, we need to find the integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of linear equation in x is given by e power integral p dy. So this equals to e power integral p dy equals to e power integral 1 by 1 plus y square into dy. Since we know that integral 1 by x square plus a square into dx equals to 1 by a into tan inverse x by a. Right. Now, compare these two integrands. So, for x equals to y and a equals to 1, we'll get integral 1 by 
y square plus 1 square root dx which is integral 1 by 1 plus y square into dx equals to 1 by 4 a equals to 1 and x equals to y you'll get tan inverse y right so this becomes e power tan inverse so now we got the integrating factor. Integrating factor equals to e power tan inverse 1. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of the linear equation in x is given by x into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dy plus c. Right. Now using this formula, we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is x into integrating factor e power tan inverse y equals to integral q for q equals to tan inverse y by 1 plus y square into integrating factor e power tan inverse y into dy plus c See, either we can use 1 by x square plus a square into dx equals to 1 by a into tan inverse x by a or we already have 1 by x square plus 1 equals to tan inverse x. Okay, fine. Now let tan inverse y equals to some t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to y. Derivative of tan inverse y is 1 by 1 plus y square equals to dt by dy. Now bring this differential dy to LHS. You will get 1 by 1 plus y square into dy equals to dt. Right? Now, we can replace tan inverse y by t and 1 by 1 plus y square into dy by dt. Okay? So, before replacing the terms, we'll just rewrite it. Rewrite the integrand. Tan inverse y into e power tan inverse y into 1 by 1 plus y square into dy plus c. Now it's easy to replace the terms, right? Is it equals to? Now replace tan inverse y by t. You get t into e power t. And 1 by 1 plus y square into dy is dt plus c. Now we have to evaluate integral t e power t dt. integral by parts formula or uh, integration by parts integral t into e power t dt right so integration by parts formula is integral u dv equals to uv minus integral v du right 
uh, here the polynomial, sorry, not polynomial, the integrand is of polynomial function into exponential function form. So, we'll choose polynomial function as u and the remaining as d, right? u equals to, let u equals to t and dv equals to the remaining part. Now, differentiate on both sides with respect to t. du by dt equals to dt by dt. From this, we'll get du by dt equals to 1, again, du equals to 1 into dt dt, right? Now, by integrating on both sides, we'll get v integral dv is v equals to integral e power t dt is e power t. Fine. Now, we can apply this formula, integral u, u in the sense t into dv is e power t into dt equals to uv for u equals to t into v e power t minus integral v e power t into du for du equals to dt equals to t e power t minus integral e power t dt is e power t, right? Also, you can take e power t common from these two terms. We'll get e power t times t minus 1, right? Since integral t into e power t dt equals to t e power t minus e power t, Then this becomes now just replace this integral by t e power t minus e power t plus c, right? So we have taken e power t common, right? Then we'll get e power t times t minus 1. Fine. Now, since t equals to tan inverse y, so let's replace t. We'll get e power tan inverse y into e power, sorry, for t equals to tan inverse y minus 1 plus c. Right? That is x into e power tan inverse y equals to. Now we can take this e power tan inverse y to RHS, then x equals to e power tan inverse y into tan inverse y minus 1 plus c by e power tan inverse y. See if you notice you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we can split the total expression into two terms. e power tan inverse y into tan inverse y minus 1 by e power tan inverse y plus c by e power tan inverse y. So e power tan inverse y gets cancelled from the RHS part. Then x equals to tan inverse y minus 1. Plus, 
you can write c by e power 10 tan minus 1 as c into 1 by e power tan inverse y. Then x equals to tan inverse y minus 1 plus c into 1 by e power tan inverse y is e power minus tan inverse y. Reciprocal of e power tan inverse y is e power minus tan inverse y. So therefore, x equals to tan inverse y minus 1 plus c into e power minus tan inverse y is the required solution. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from linear e equation in x. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.